Praise the Lord. We thank God for today. And I'm Pastor Paul from the Ghanaian congregation. That's 1 p.m. Today we are in day three of our Don't Watch. And the topic is Saved and Sanctify Heart. Saved and Sanctify Heart. Let us go through the word of God in Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Confession is made unto salvation. So, who is saved? The Bible clearly teaches that. The moment a person have their conviction in his or her heart and confess Jesus Christ, he or she is saved. But it doesn't end there. It turns from his sin and trust in Jesus to be forgiven of his sin. He is saved. Let us go to Acts chapter 2, verse 37 to 41. Act 2, 37. And I read, Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call, forty. And when and with many other words, he testified and exhorted them, saying, Be saved from their perverse generation. 41. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. Brethren, let us go through sanctification. What is sanctification? It's the action or process of being freed from sin. And we go to salvation. Salvation is God's grace. It is the gift of freedom from our sins that Jesus made possible by taking the punishment for our sins on the cross. Our prayer focus for today is all about salvation. It's all about salvation. That salvation will reach our family members, friends, who are not saved to and even we who are saved will have a sanctified heart will have a sanctified heart this is our prayer for God for today may the good Lord help us as we intercede as we cry for all the members for those in our family those around us who are not saved this is our prayer that God will touch their hearts. God will speak to them. And through this prayers, as we intercede, the will of God will come to pass over their lives. May good Lord bless you. May he give you the strength. May he give all of us the grace as we intercede for the lost souls. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.